The Defense Ministry has asked officials to conclude the negotiations to develop a new 125 kN jet engine with France within the next 30 days, that will power the AMCA 5.5 generation fighter jets. A new jet engine complex spearheaded by the DRDO is in the works, and the French engine manufacturer Safran has offered a complete technology transfer to develop the engine and also use the offset credits from the 36 Rafale deal, and initial assessments are that the engine can be produced within seven years of the project being sanctioned. The 155mm 52 caliber ATAGS howitzer built by private sector firm Tata Power SED has completed confirmatory trials, which is usually implemented when it is necessary to provide additional evidence of efficacy or safety. The successful completion of confirmatory trials means that orders can be placed with the industry, following with induction and operationalization of the ATAGS in the Indian Army. The private sector firm Astra Microwave has completed the fabrication of a new TAM Mark II radar and has delivered it to DRDO's electronics and radar development establishment, that will be integrated on the limited series Tejas aircraft that will be used as a testbed for the Tejas Mark II program. The Utam Mark II radar will have 968 transmit and receive modules, and this increased number of modules and channels will provide a capability to track an increased number of targets, and will have increased detection range. 40 Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force has started integration of the Astra Mark I air-to-air -air missiles. The Su-30 aircraft have started receiving software patches, and the missile launchers will be integrated in batches. Bharat Dynamics is also set to receive bulk order for Astra Mark I missiles very soon. The Defence Ministry has again extended the last date of submission of bid for 220 air defence towed guns and 1.4 lakh rounds of ammunition for the Indian Army till June 2022. The ministry has extended the deadline, after request by the public sector firm Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, as it is finalizing a joint venture with German firm Rain Metal Defense under the UP Defense Corridor, for the local manufacturing of Sky Shield air defense systems. The price of raw materials such as carbon composites has increased rapidly, which is causing financial difficulties to Indian vendors. The Tejas Mark 1A will use 45% carbon composites in its airframe, and media reports indicate that this situation can cause a delay in the program. With the steep increase in price of these materials, HAL will be forced to renegotiate the supply of these components with the vendors, or they will be forced to incur losses or might default from their supply obligations, and Hindustan Aeronautics will have to absorb the rise in cost directly from its profit margin. The DRDO plan to test the dry cavalry engine on a Russian IL-76 flying lab aircraft has been delayed, that could eventually affect the autonomous stealth UCAF program. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation has recently deregistered four Boeing 747 aircraft, that was not part of the Air India deal with Tata Group. If the Boeing 747 aircraft is refurbished and installed with new parts instruments and sensors at a cost of $70 million to develop an Indian flying lab aircraft, it will allow the DRDO to more quickly move through the design and testing process of new jet engines.